This open well in Lira district is where the community of Tekulu village, a little sub-county in Kuala district, is drawing water for home consumption. This is both risky and unsafe because they have to cross this broken bridge to access the well. <laughs> Lugino Okal is the village chairperson and says the well is serving over six villages and is being shared with animals. In Dokolo district, after flash floods submerged several boreholes, this pond is the spot where the community of Akureloba A in Kwera sub county is drawing water for consumption. Over 56 villages in Dokolo district, 77 in Aleptong, 78 in Lira, and 128 in Kuala district lack boreholes. <laughs> During a meeting organized by SNV in Lira city, leaders called for immediate intervention and want government to decommission all non-functional boreholes which were constructed during LRA war but are reflected in the region's data. If you look at the statistics, it is showing that about 80 something percent of water coverage. And yet those bar also were captured during the NRA insurgency and were put in the camps. After the camps were dissolved, some of those water bar, bar hold water points have been abandoned. And not, not, none of them is working. We must make our system transparent and supportive to the community. Therefore we, we request our partners that are around and other stakeholders to come and intervene so that we fight a way forward. According to the Water and Environment Sector Performance Report of 2018, the national safe water coverage in rural areas was estimated at 70%, a figure that further dropped to 68% by June 2020 and 2021 respectively. However, the functionality which had stagnated at 85% has greatly improved with the SNV's intervention of the waterboard model that empowers communities to take ownership of their own water sources. What used to be a very big handicap is what we have achieved and it is what is being said in all communities as you go there. They now know water board is, is a must, is, is what we need to get our quality water. If you look at COVID-19, while this we've had gains, it has also set us back. So again, you find that the, the, the gap in terms of access to clean water is, is, is growing and that is what we need to look at. Much as access to water is a right, there are also responsibilities for the users and leaders to enhance the functionality and reduce on the downtime. Ediolua, UBC News.